Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your independent sensing consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a lousy bin, honestly. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't been very good about changing wax. I honestly think I changed wax upstairs one time, twice, counting today. Um, it was pretty sad. So uh, I still wanted to do my empties video though, or at least what I have been warming. Not all of these things are empty, but it's what I have been working on. So let's just chat about them. I took out, I brought home, I guess, from work, the air purifier lemon drizzle cake. This is in the Easter collection. The Easter bars are actually sold out on the website. Let me get my iPad a little bit closer to my body um, so I can do some research here. The Easter bars are sold out on the website, I do believe. The pods are still available, I think. I will say the lemon drizzle cake was better for me in the pods on Centipeel. The stuff is selling out of the Easter collection fast. The pods are all still available. The wax bar bundle is sold out, but let me see if you can still add it to your Sensi Club. You could yesterday. <laughs> But, you know, you got to take these things day by day. Um, they generally only la last like 30 days after launch um, if they sell out within the 30 days. So I think they launched probably about a month ago. So the club, they might be like fairly soon um, not going to be available for club. Just, just saying. So... I thought personally the lemon drizzle cake was better in the pod on Centipeel. That like floral lilac note did not come out as much for me in the pods. However, these pods were like so light. I felt like I had them going in a wall fan at home before I brought them to work to the air purifier. And I felt like they barely did anything. Like I could notice there was like a light lemony type scent at work. But it wasn't like doing that much for me. So I have them actually in the air purifier here at home now, just to like get the last few bits of life out of them. And because in that purifier for like the last five weeks, maybe two months, I've had freaking Cloudberry Dreams pods. And these still have plenty of scent in them. Like these will not die. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. <laughs> I may, they're, it's still so strong. If you want a strong pod, have you tried Cloudberry Dreams? The air purifier for me really diffuses the scent. Like any scent is less strong for me personally in the air purifier. If I have a scent that's like overpowering, A, <laughs> Cloudberry Dreams, I we'll start it in the air purifier because I know it will like diffuse the scent better. And I think that is because the air purifier, you put the pods in the top, but a lot of air blows out the top versus the wall fans, unlike the mini wall fans, the only place for air to go is through the pod. Air purifier, the air comes out through the pod, but also all around the pod. So I think that is what helps diffuse the scent a lot. However, for example, my lemon drizzle cake, if you have a lighter pod scent, you might really be disappointed in the throw with your air purifier. So depending what you're going for there is kind of what I've experienced with my air purifier. Um, I will also say, just kind of speaking about pods and wall fans, I get the best personal performance in from those I personally treat them kind of like I would treat a Bath & Body Works wallflower plug. It's not going to scent my whole open concept. It's probably going to do best in like a bathroom, a hallway, like a more confined space. Or it's just going to be like a better scent throw when you're next to it versus across the room. That's kind of how I go about treating my pods. Um, sometimes you have boomers and you can smell your whole open concept. Um, but I think it kind of just depends like, do you have them in a wall fan? Do you have them in an air purifier? Which to me personally makes them less strong. Um, you know, do you have really high ceilings? Do you have your air or like other fans blowing around? Like there's a lot of factors, but I kind of treat my wall fans like I do 
wallflower plugs. So I keep them in the bathroom. Um, I have one in our bedroom that I run sometimes if I feel like it's getting like a little bit, you know, stale in there. Like I need a little bit of refreshing because when I'm away during the day, I don't run my warmers and stuff when I'm at work. So that's kind of how I treat them versus like a warmer. I feel like the scent throw is so much more because it's like heating and dispersing the scent via like the scent oils are like evaporating into the air. they don't evaporate but they are released into the air from the wax pool versus this is just air blowing through it i hope that helps you place your wall fans more accordingly i honestly just play around with everything like i move stuff all the time I can't help it um but like I noticed the wall fans when I would put them in my kitchen like in the taller outlets because they weren't that far from the cabinets I like really wasn't getting much action from them because they were like just blowing to the bottom of the cabinet not really like moving around um but if I put it like under where we eat like in our dining area by our, our kitchen table I feel like I can't even have it on during dinner because it's like overwhelming me so <laughs> it's just all about placement honestly um and then in a bathroom they are phenomenal like best place obviously for them but you might want them in other places i get that um i have one by my trash because i think that's a perfect place for scent is next to your trash can so i have one there but that is more so like in the kitchen like open concept area i don't expect it to like go across my whole entire open concept that is just my pod mini um, thoughts. <laughs> I don't know about mini because that was quite detailed, I feel like. Um, I put welcome home in my car. This is the car bar. I think I've talked about the fact that I put this in my car. Um, also, I had this for like a decent while and look how discolored it is on the back. It's got some scent oils coming through. This is really nice in the car. I feel like in the car and in the pods, cause I do have the pods going in my work air purifier. I feel like I get that like cinnamon spiciness kind of from it. It's just like a light dusting a cinnamon bakery. It's like so good. Honestly though, that's like, I need to retry it in the wax. I have a brick of it that I need to test, but I feel like it's kind of just so homey that it almost like doesn't have a scent to me I need to retry it so I feel like I get more performance from it in the pods in the car bar but I have a brick so we will we will test it okay let's just since we're talking about bricks talk about bricks why not so um it's brick Monday today when I'm filming this maybe isn't gonna go up till Wednesday I think but I've been doing this is the third week in a row I'm pretty positive where I've done a brick Monday, which is essentially a day that I have designated as the day to work on my bricks because I have amassed a decent brick collection. However, I want more bricks. <laughs> I'm addicted to bricks. Um, I feel like I was getting them in my Scentsy Clubs and then obviously during like limited time promos, I was also getting them and I wasn't finishing any. So I designated one day a week to work on my bricks. I can happily say today, Brick Monday, that I finished a brick. Um, this is the second brick I finished since starting this kind of challenge. So I'm, it's definitely motivating. Uh, I finished today pink poinsettia. This is completely used up. And I talked about this last week because I actually worked on it as my last Brick Monday. And I was thinking like doing math on how many cubes were left that I could finish it up. And so I put in all the warmers today, um, pretty much everything upstairs and downstairs, but not the bedroom has pink poinsettia. Um, and so it's done. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this honestly isn't my favorite scent. It's decent for this time of year. It's like berries. I think I was watching Linda the other day and she said the notes were like pomegranate, berry, and something else. I swear. And she was saying like this wasn't her favorite scent either and I, I totally agree. It's kind of just like a generic berry. To me it almost has a little bit of like champagne toast hint of like effervescence like barely. 
Not really when it's warming though, mostly on cold. Um, it's just kind of a generic berry. I know Blenda was also saying the scent is very flat. I kind of agree with that. Like there's not much going on. It's kind of just like a berry. So kind of odd that it came out with the holiday bricks, but also I can see they're trying to appeal to a wider crowd of people because not everybody loves spice. And so this is another option for you. Um, but I didn't like, I didn't put any of the holiday bricks in my club. I just wasn't really a fan of any of them this year. Um, this wasn't my least favorite, but I, I didn't necessarily like love it. Um, it's honestly probably my like second favorite. <laughs> that tells you how much I enjoyed the holiday bricks. So speaking of the holiday bricks, I also last night, which is not technically brick Monday, but I, I was getting prepared last night in the overnight warmer. I put in fluffy fleece and I've actually been enjoying that in the overnight warmer, which is so specific. And I wouldn't probably buy a scent to put it in the overnight warmer, but since I have a brick of it that I'm trying to work through, I think it's appropriate. Um, it's really nice in there just because I think it has all night to mellow out versus like constantly smelling it. But it also keeps the room really fresh because it's just like a really fresh cozy scent. So yeah, I've worked on that one. And then I also am still chipping away at my marshmallow mint cocoa, which has six uses left. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven uses left. This is two and then there's two and this is one. So seven uses. So hopefully next week at this time, because I try to use one of these pieces every day. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but I, I have a whole nother brick of this. I can afford to use one of those pieces every day. And it's from 11 of 20 and I have it in my club. Like it's, time I'm using them every day. So by this time next week, I should be coming back to you guys with an empty brick, which would be my third empty brick from Brick Monday. So this I actually work on every single day, even though I'm technically like every Brick Monday, I think I just like acknowledge the fact that I need to work on my bricks. But this one, I'm actually like fully dedicated to using it at least once a day is the goal. That's what I like try to do. So I talked about this last week, but if you actually don't like this scent, like my husband doesn't like this scent. I've been mixing it with something super, super sweet. Right now, my mixture is with L3 White Elephant Exchange. If you are familiar with the scent, it's like a powdered sugar, super heavy vanilla overload. If you have like a vanilla bean buttercream or like happy birthday, birthday wishes, sugar cookie, any of those that I would recommend uh, mixing with this to see if you like it better it may be a good way for you to use up your brick. So I only have a few sad bars left. So um, honestly, all week upstairs, I warmed the pink poinsettia from last week. I changed it once to Amazon Rain. And I had some bars sitting around that I just like stumbled across that I was like, I need to use it up. Like this doesn't even have a date or my sticker on it. They were laying around like I was like I gotta use these so I've been trying to mark honestly in this catalog since I've used like I'm trying to put little X's next to them and so I should probably go through and do that for some of these like Amazon rain because I haven't done that but I think it's um I'm trying to do that so that I know like what do I still need to try from the catalog and like you know, for spring, summer and stuff, because there's a lot of scents that I haven't honestly tried. So Amazon Rain is something that's really hard to describe, but Sensi says it's melon, orange, orange zest, coconut milk, and jasmine. And it's really nice. <laughs> um, I feel like I first before I tried this in wax, it came in my starter kit as washer whiffs, which is our laundry product. And so I feel like this kind of gives me scent memory of like doing laundry, but also I feel like depending where I warm it, I get different things. So I think when I warm it, like, I don't know, this last time I warmed it, I feel like I got a lot of the jasmine and the coconut milk, making it almost like sweeter and perfumier, almost reminiscent of like a summer holiday mixed in there with it. 
versus other times I feel like I've gotten more of that like tropical melon orange zest vibe and the coconut milk and the jasmine more on the background. I don't know. I just, I feel like this last time I warmed it, I was like, I'm getting something that I really like from here. And I, maybe it was the jasmine. This bar I think has been around, you know, wherever it was sitting, unlabeled, undated for probably quite a while. It doesn't have like the new designs on the back. So it's definitely pre <laughs> redo of the clams, which was like, and they started transitioning them in what, June of 2020, uh, two, 2021, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I, I really liked that. Um, I've kind of always been like a little bit on the fence with Amazon Rain. Like I know like Hannah, for example, Hannah loves Amazon Rain, loves Amazon Rain. Like if you watch Hannah's channel, you know that Hannah loves Amazon Rain. For me, I'm like, I think it's nice. But after this last time warming it, I'm like, okay, I could like warm another bar. Like I could see where Hannah's coming from. Not that I'm like, it's my favorite scent, but I'm like getting there. I don't know. It has to have been, it has to be a jasmine. It's the only thing I can think of. Okay. So another, let's see. Um, I only also did one wax change in the bedroom. <laughs> so that's, I did the Southern evening, which I feel like lasts for days, you guys. And then I'm doing the fluffy piece today. So this other change I did was sea salt and avocado. I had never tried this because honestly, I feel like, okay, I've in my starter kit also, I got a fragrance flower and sea salt, sea salt and avocado which I was a little bit nervous for, but I wanted to try it because I hadn't ever tried a fragrance flower or I'd done very few and they were fall specific. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this. It was like the strongest fragrance flower to date, I think. It was so strong. It I had it in our half bath, which is now Jemmy's bathroom, so I would never put a fragrance flower in there. But it literally went from the half bath and would like travel up the stairs. It was that strong. It was crazy. So, um, to me, and I think people get the wrong impression. When I think of sea salt and avocado, I think of like making guacamole, like you're going to mash up avocados and add in some sea salt and other spices and you're going to make guacamole. Like, we could name this anything else, <laughs> anything. Um, I feel like it just gives it such a bad, <laughs> like, rap. Um, but the notes, and then I'll tell you what I think, are pink sea salt, Valencia orange, and avocado, which still kind of give me guacamole feels. I feel like there's something on my face, even though there's not. I just, it looks weird in the camera. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't smell like guacamole. Also, I feel like guacamole has like a very, like it doesn't have like a super powerful aroma necessarily. Unless you maybe put a lot of spices in it. Like I don't feel like it's as fragrant as some other dips you could probably make. This to me <sighs> smells like a fancy spa or something. And it's not like cucumber spa like another scent I'm going to talk about. It's just like fresh spa. Like it's very, very fresh. Incredibly. I think I'm actually going to get a brick of this in an upcoming Scentsy Club because I've tried a lot of the Scentsy Club bricks. I haven't tried this one. And I was like, you know what? I got the bar. Like, let's test it out. It was very nice in my bathroom. I think it would even be nice in the bathroom. I did it in my bathroom and my bedroom and it was very nice there. And it lasted a couple days, even in my overnight warmer. And then um, I think it would also work really well in my open concept. It's just, I feel like, why did they say avocado? Like it doesn't smell like an avocado. It just doesn't. And sea salt, like are you, they want you to think this scent smells like something it doesn't. I don't know. You, this is literally in the category with like Amazon Rain, Luna, another scent I'm going to talk about next, 
that you just have to smell because the description is like, what? Sea salt and avocado is guacamole. But it doesn't smell like guacamole. It's super, super, super fresh. If you are intrigued by this scent, but you're on the edge and you're nervous, if you're going to place an order, pick up a scent circle. It's the cheapest way besides asking your consultant for a sample to test out a scent. So if you're like, okay, my, I can't get a sample of it. Um, buy a scent circle and you can kind of like test out the scent because they're only $3. If you're buying a six pack anyway, you're buying five, getting one free. You could do that as your free one. I'm just saying, if you're already on the edge, try it out as a scent circle. If you don't want to commit to a full bar or just buy the bar and just test it. Okay. I really actually like it. <laughs> I'm a fan. I might get a break. Uh, another scent that's like, what are they talking about in these scent notes is aloe water and cucumber. So this is like a fresh spa, but like more cucumbery, like more watery. The notes on this are aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've read these notes, you guys. Because sometimes I'm like, what are they saying? I feel like this though, it says aloe water. I feel like it does kind of smell, not as like pungent, but like when you cut open an aloe vera and it's like that watery, um, like slimy texture, you know, the stuff that's good for you. I feel like this kind of gives me those vibes with cucumber peel. I don't know what palm frond is. But pineapple nectar, I get like a hint of that in the background, kind of sweetening it up. It's not like pineapples by any means. It just gives it more of like a sweet freshness. This I did in the open concept because this is another bar, like Amazon Rain, that's unmarked and undated. These were in a family together. Um, and so I was like, I have to use these up. So I did them the same day. This was upstairs and this was open concept. And this, oh, I actually did this on Easter Sunday. This blew me away. I only did a cube in each of my warmers in the open concept because that's what I had in the clam. And it was so strong. It was so strong, you guys. It was crazy. Um, it was nice and refreshing, but also it was snowing. Um, so I was like, I wish I kind of would have did something else, but it was fine. I finished up a clam of vanilla blackberry. So this is... A scent of the month that's no longer available. I like this. <laughs> I went back and forth. I had it in my club at one point um, before it honestly even went away. I had it in my club because I was like, I love this. And now I'm kind of like, dang, do I regret taking it out of my club? But it's fine. I feel like I like it more in the clam than I do when it's actually going. I know some people love, love, love this. And I like it a lot, especially in the clam. But while it's going, it's kind of just like, I don't know. And I've kind of been in the mode. I think there's two things. I don't love it as much as I love it in the clam. I feel like I get more of like the almost like woodsy side of it. If there was one, like, I feel like that gives the wrong impression. I don't know, but there's like a sharpness kind of in the clam that I feel like doesn't quite come through while it's warming. Um, but I've also been in the mode, especially with the open concept where I put something in the warmers and then like two to three hours later, I'm like itching. Like I want to put in something different because I just want to try other scents. I don't know what's gotten into me, but okay. And then in the same boat, I haven't even changed the wax upstairs like one time. Like <laughs> I just, what? So I've been letting things go. Um, at least a day to like chill, but sometimes I'm like, especially with this vanilla blackberry, I was like, okay, I can't let it go for one more day. I just have to change it because like I have to warm something else. So I feel like I also didn't necessarily give it a fair shot because after a few hours I was just like itching to change the wax. Um, but I have like five bars of this or something, at least another one for sure. But I think it's more like five. So it's, I think once it gets more to like, I don't know. I don't know. Cause I feel like it's appropriate to warm right now, but I also feel like fall is a good time for it. And maybe summer. 
I also feel like maybe you could mix in, I almost want to say like you could maybe utilize this to give yourself like a berry waffle cone type of mixture with some kind of bakery, but I just don't know how that would work out. I don't know what you would all need, but I feel like this is like the base of the berry that you could use to get yourself some berry waffle cone. I might have to investigate that. That really just came to me when I just smelled that. I don't know. I'm intrigued because I like berry waffle cone. Okay. Um, <laughs> when I was like, I have to take off in the library, I was like craving bakery. I'm in the bakery craving mode. And after my club came, I am still in the bakery craving mode after smelling all those bakeries since I came in there. Uh, but after that, I had to put in apple cherry sugar. You guys, this is so good. I'm so glad I put this in my club because <laughs> I love it. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of bars, but I don't care. And that's partly why I warmed it because I was like, okay, I know my club's coming. I better take out a bar and warm it. But also I was like, what bakery should I take out warm? And I was like, oh yeah, apple cherry sugar for sure. It's so good and it's so strong. Um, it does start out really strong and die off, but I actually, in my open concept now, I have two element warmers and three bulb warmers. And I have found that, especially with this one, which I was kind of shocked about, the bulb warmers, I kind of get like that really high peak and then it like kind of you know dives off versus the element warmers are like a little bit more steady warming so I feel like I get a more even scent release so I think that helps the longevity of this because I did it for at least two days which normally and maybe it was like you know a full day like a day after work and a full day maybe it wasn't like a full 48 hours like don't get me wrong but two like warming sessions, which normally this one, I feel like people after like eight hours are like, it's dead. I got more than eight hours, I can definitely say. Um, and at the point where I took it out, I was like, I could probably stretch it a little more. But you know me, like this week, I was like, no, I gotta, <laughs> gotta move on to the next best thing. So smelling this in the clam though right now, it makes me wanna melt it again. So this is apple cherry and like a caramel drizzle I think are the notes <sighs> I hope they bring this back but also I have it in my club so it's fine but like the scent pack is really good the scent circle is really good they should bring it out in pods it's a really good one I know some people were speculating like they're gonna replace it with maraschino sugar, sugar cookie which I know a lot of people also liked maraschino sugar cookie but like can we keep apple cherry strudel too? <laughs> Please. Okay. Um, and then last scent to talk about. I love how no matter what I have in here, I could have two scents in here and still talk 30 minutes. Like I do apologize. Um, but I just like to talk. So <laughs> you probably know that if you're not new to my channel. Okay. The last one I have is pink rhubarb sugar. This I was honestly low key kind of putting off warming because every time I smell it, I think it got sweeter and sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Like it just started getting so sweet, which originally when I did my first sniffs of the new releases, I was like, oh, it smells really good. Like I really like it. I rated it pretty high. After I warmed Apple Teeny Splash, which was also really sweet. And it kind of gave me like almost like my summer a little sick type of vibes. I kind of got more nervous about this one. So this is pink rhubarb raspberry and sugar honestly this could have been part of the easter collection it literally smells like a super super sugary like jolly rancher type of candy jelly bean ish like that it was a little bit too sweet i did it in my open concept and it actually held up in my open concept i have talked about the fact that my open concept isn't massive ceilings or massive square footage it's just kind of my living room dining room kitchen area in the downstairs um, and it's off of the master bedroom. It's all one downstairs like area. So it's kind of like an L shape. Um, it was very sweet, but it did okay there. Um, it wasn't like super confectionery, but also not strong. Like it, it did okay. 
I will say though, we, the day I did it, we made something smelly like we always do. Like all the food we make is smelly. You guys know this by now. Um, it seems like it just never leaves the air. So I ended up cracking the window for like five minutes because Jem gets way too excited when the window is cracked. So I did that for like five minutes. I turned on the fan and I put out my diffuser with some lemon oil in the kitchen. And so that uh, lemon oil and this mixing was really, really nice. It actually kind of made it like a lemon and sugar mixture kind of like you would think maybe like the sugar bar not that good <laughs> let's be honest not that good um but they mixed really really well together so i wonder how this would do with like a lemon wax um but even the lemon oil was really nice i think it just cut through the sweetness and just like toned it out a little bit um and gave it a little more depth obviously there was two different types of things going like I had the wax going and the oil going but they were just mixing really really nicely so that's my tip with this one if it's just a little bit too sweet for you maybe try and mix in like a squeeze the day or like a lemon sorbet and see what happens it's nice I just I don't think I love it as much as I originally thought I would so that is what I have for this week's what I've been warming. I'm really excited to dive into some of my club scents. And like I said, I'm trying to warm through some more catalog scents. So I have some more um, like in my mind pulled aside that I really want to get through um, that I've never tested before. So let me know what you guys are